Hey YouTube, I'm gonna be honest, I am a little shocked that I'm doing this again. This is class number two. Cause I'm gonna be honest, I thought I was gonna, you know, start this New Year's resolution. We're gonna do this, we're gonna do this, and then it's just gonna fall to the wayside. But I'm so, 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 so happy to be back. You know, so far we got three subscribers. I just want to thank you guys so much for subscribing. I really appreciate it. I do this for y'all. <laughs> but today's lesson, I want to kick it off with talking about paying yourself first. Now, what does that mean exactly? It means exactly what it says, pay yourself first. Like for example, when you get a paycheck, the first thing we do, what is the first thing we gonna do? Pay on bills, our rent, groceries, our car note. It's like we pay everybody else but ourselves. I don't understand that. For example, I'm sorry, Spesh, I'm not gonna put your name out there, but for example, my Spesh, you know, he had asked me for money. So I'm just like, Spesh, what up? Like, you're not little Neo anymore. Like, you, you, you almost grown now. What's going on? So, because I know he makes a pretty decent amount of money. And I'm like, are you paying yourself first? And he's like, no. This is what I told him to do. I said, every time you get paid, no matter what, I don't care if... You owe our Sally a thousand dollars. I don't care if you owe BG and E a million dollars. I don't care if you owe AT and T a hundred thousand dollars or Verizon, because you know they bills be wilding. But that's neither here nor there. But anyways, so before you pay them, I said uh, immediately put a hundred dollars in your checking account. Then you pay everybody else first, and it's really exciting. I mean, and then you pay everybody else. And it's really exciting because you get to see your gradual growth. Like you start off with a hundred dollars. For example, I when I have I had mentioned this book before about Rich Dad Poor Dad, and that's one of the main lessons in Rich Dad Poor Dad, which is paying yourself first. At the time I was 18 years old, I'll never forget it. At the time I made my checks were about nine hundred dollars or a little less. It was about like eight hundred dollars a month, so some something of that sort. At that time, I was making twenty four thousand dollars a year, and we got paid by by it wasn't by weekly, it was by monthly. Now, I said I'm gonna pay myself first. I said no matter what, I'm putting four hundred dollars aside in the bank. Every time I got paid, I don't care what happened. I don't care who needed money. I didn't care who needed to be paid. I put my $400 in a bank. And before you knew it, I had like over $6,000. And at this time, I was only 18 no, or 19. Now I think I'm 19 around this time, 18, 19. Yeah. So I, it was really exciting. Honestly, I ended up blowing the money on Fendi jeans and stupid shit that I didn't need but that's another story for another day now a book that I want to suggest before we get out of here is the richest man in Babylon it's only about 73 pages long and I'm gonna be honest it's a little harder to get into because it's in that you know that thou thus the language of the Bible, like the old English, so it's a little hard to catch catch on. But once you start getting in a groove, the book actually becomes very good. Like I said, it's only 73 pages, and it's about paying yourself first. It's about, you just have to read it yourself. And please, after you read the book, like I said, it's only 73 pages long. It will literally take you an hour at max to complete the whole book. So if you did it, read the book please leave a comment tell me how that book has changed your life because between those two books rich dad poor dad by robert kiyosaki and what is the book again baby i just forgot oh um the richest man in babylon between the two of those books those books definitely has changed my life when it comes to saving and what you do after you save you start investing. We will start talking about investing. One thing I invest heavily is 
Bitcoin, cryptocurrency is the future. But we'll talk about that a completely different time. Don't buy Bitcoin or any of these cryptocurrencies now. There's a couple of altcoins you can buy, but don't buy Bitcoin right now because we're actually entering a five month bear market. So Bitcoin will go down to about $8,000 and I can't wait, but I'm learning how to make money during the bear market, which is really exciting. But that's neither here nor there. I want to thank you guys so much for watching my second video. Thank you so much for tuning in. I just really appreciate you guys spread the message because we are going to talk about financial freedom, financial literacy, and we're going to get the job done. All right, y'all. I'll see y'all later. Thank you. Bye.